Let me out! Let me out! This is not a dance! What's up everyone, it's Sleepy P, welcome to the Sleepy Shell Core. Today we're going to be having a look at the disaster surrounding Limited Run, the uh, physical games company, and how it looks like they're going broke. <laughs> it seriously is a case of go woke, go broke with this one. They have messed up big time. They're all to make, I don't know, some fucking weirdo feel a bit better about themselves. Anyway, before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe. Do all that YouTube stuff. It makes me feel good. It makes you feel good. And guess what? It doesn't cost anything. Let's do this. So, limited run games. Uh, employee fired for following conservative Twitter accounts. Yep, that's right. I am not making this up. Limited run games fired... <laughs> one of their employees because on their personal not not a business but a personal twitter account followed uh some people on twitter that some fucking weirdo decided were conservatives um wow i mean you could not make this up um but uh, you, th this isn't gonna go well and it's really not going well actually for limited run games so what happened was oh my god Look at the state of this. This is Purple Tinker. Um, it, yeah, but but uh, Purple t Tinker, some dude that thinks he's a chick, and uh, I mean that is fucking hideous. That shouldn't be allowed. That that's a fucking travesty. Anyway. American Gaming Company Limited Run Games LRG Community Manager Kara Lim was terminated from her position because she followed catch-up host Even Miles Chong, libs of TikTok and YouTube host Blair White. Upon investigating a situation, an employee was terminated, said the LRG in a tweet. Our goal as a company is continue to, our goal as a company is to continue to foster a positive and safe environment for everyone. I mean, Libs of TikTok is a parody account, and it takes the piss out of all the libtards on TikTok. Um, I mean, okay, so, so some of these things might be a bit conservative, but that's up to her. If she wants to, you know, fo follow those accounts, that, that's, that's her prerogative. Upon investigating a situation, employee was terminated. Yeah. LRG respects all personal opinions. Um, except for those of their employee, quite clearly. However, we remain committed to supporting an inclusive culture. Upon investigating the situation, an employee was terminated. Our goal as a company is to continue to foster a positive and safe environment for everyone, except for the employee who isn't allowed to follow people on Twitter um, because it's upset somebody. I mean, what the actual fuck? He's a monster. Uh, before you before you even think about going and looking for Purple Tinker, it's um, it's deleted its Twitter account, so you, you can't find that. So transgender, uh, transgender, transgender, transgender activist Purple Tinker said she wrote the tweet documenting Lynn's alleged transphobic behaviour, which led to her being fired. Since then, I've been deluged with. Uh, uh, targeted online harassment said Tinker. Well, so you should be. You fucking lost somebody in a job because you don't think that they should be following particular accounts. I've been called a degenerate tree, uh, a degenerate freak, a tranny faggot, and a barrel of other slurs. Um, so fucking what? You, you're a loser. You're a waste of fucking skin. If this sort of thing winds you up so much that you've got to go after somebody's job because they follow a couple of Twitter accounts. You're the fucking loser here, Purple Tinker. You are a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. Tinker said the irony is these people say they support free speech. In fact, she said she used her free speech to complain about Lynn. Complain about what? She followed some accounts on Twitter and you feel like you've got the right to complain about it. Um, if the people directing abuse her way believed in free speech, she said she wouldn't be being targeted for using mime. What this is really about is their transphobia, she said. Look, nobody's scared of transsexuals. You're just fucking weird, mate. And 
you, everything that you do and you see, you, you automatically think it's transphobia because for some reason, you guys have got to think that you're fucking outraged all the time. And what you really need to do, I, I mean, if you want to dress up like a fucking woman, go and do it. You best of luck to you. Nobody gives a fuck, but don't try and shove it down people's throats. Chung acknowledged Lin had been fired for following him. A video company game called Limited Run Games fired Kara Lin because some nut job got offended over the fact that she follows me and lives of TikTok, said Chung. Oh. So look, a community manager for Limited Run Games is a transphobe. Alright, this is Purple Tinker. Now, Purple Tinker's uh, name on, on Twitter was Purple Tinker Hates Elon. Well, if that's the case, Purple Tinker, why the fuck are you on Twitter? You're on Twitter to be outraged. The community manager for Limited Run Games is a transphobe who follows a veritable who's who of right-wing transphobic creeps. Congratulations, that was one of the stupidest things that I've ever seen anybody post on the internet before. Uh, no. No, she's not a transphobe and she, 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 you know, she might follow some conservative accounts, but what fucking business is that of yours? Unless and until she's fired from the company permanently, I'm not giving them another single dime. Uh. And then that's when Limited Run Games put out the thing about fucking being inclusive and respecting everybody and shit. Libs of TikTok said LRG fired an employee after a trans activist pressured them to. The employee's crime was simply following me. Said Libs of TikTok, I will never give this company a penny. Now, Purple Tinker, the, 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 their big fucking, the, the, their big leverage, their big bargaining chip was that they weren't going to give LRG another penny. Well, this is seriously, seriously fucking backfired on LRG. Um, because Libs of TikTok, Blair White, Chong, I mean, these massive, 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 um, you know, creators and like they've got a huge reach and this is this has really been picked up so first off we've got libs of tiktok not giving lrg another penny <laughs> and then this has gone crazy uh yellow flash um the, the likes of yellow flash uh ryan cannell rk outpost um fantastic fantastic uh youtube channels if you haven't seen them already definitely go and check them out but they've picked this story up and they've run with it. They've, they've, they're have oh, they've running through the streets with its head on a stick. Limited Run Games is getting swamped with refunds. Backlash worse than we thought. And it is. They are getting absolutely hammered with refunds. And Flash rightly says, yep, they did this to themselves. Now, Limited Run Games has restricted comments on its Twitter after it was revealed it fired a woman for following conservative accounts on her personal, personal social media. Inclusive my ass, you're catering to a very specific agenda and you fired someone from it. I will never buy from you again. <laughs> Spits. And yeah, a lot of people now, I mean, that we're talking tens of thousands of dollars in refunds. And apparently they're, they're refusing to pay the refunds out now, which is going to leave them in, um, you know, it's going to leave them in some legal hot water. Limited run games, you have fucked up big time. Nerdrotic, another fucking huge YouTuber with a massive reach. Why do you hate women? And yeah, they hate women. They obviously hate women if they're just going to like fire somebody at the drop of a hat because of who they're friends with or who they follow on Twitter. Just because you follow particular accounts, it doesn't make you transphobic. It doesn't make you gay. It doesn't make you racist. It, it, it doesn't make you anything with whatever accounts you follow. It's ridiculous. Uh, so, GCP, Gaming Couch Potato, official statement. 
uh, on limited run games after they fired a young woman for a thought crime. We will no longer work with or cover any game that is associated with limited run games. And gaming couch potato, I mean that that that's that's a that's a that's gut punchy. And then we've got Melanie Mack. I did a video about Melanie Mack a few weeks ago about her being stalked. If you haven't seen that one, go and check it out. Uh, you got Melanie Mack. This is the face of the person who got a woman fired from limited run games because of her concern for the safety of females against incognito predators in female restrooms. Now, I will say that Cara Lynn did put out a tweet saying, you know, that about this, and you know, it's one of the big arguments that's raging that. Um, you know, people are concerned about people abusing the whole, uh, you know, trans rules and laws and everything. And, you know, it's absolutely right. It's, it's going to be a worry. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is the kind of person LRG will obey. This is the kind of person who will go through six years of your tweet history to see if you stepped out of line at some point. And there we have Purple Tinker. What a fucking monstrosity that is. So we got Flash. Hey, limited run games, was it worth it? Dying on a hill for this piece of shit. And these are some of the tweets that Purple Tinker puts out. Teenagers aren't fucking babies. The line between child and adult is very blurry. Teens reserve respect. What the actual fuck? Part of respect is self-determination, not some holy adult saying this is what you want even if you disagree. The existence of the term statutory rape denies personhood and self-determination to a whole class of people. I remember being 14 and wanting to sleep with Cindy Crawford and thinking how absurd it was, no matter how badly I wanted it, if she did actually sleep with me, it would have been rape. I'm autistic and words matter to me. What a fucking mess. What a poor excuse for a human being Purple Tinker is. And what a hypocrite. Purple Tinker hates Elon, but uses fucking Twitter. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, so we've got Melanie Mack again. Looks like another biological male was responsible for the firing of a woman at limited run games due to her genuine concerns for female safety. This is who gaming companies are pandering to. There truly is a war on women right now, and we're going to lose if we don't stand up. Limited Run Games is ignoring refunds, refusing to cancel pre-orders from Backlash, and this is where this is where the penny has got to drop, right? So look at it this way, okay? Just say there are a thousand gamers in the world. I know there's a lot more, but I'm just using it as an easy number. Say there's a thousand gamers in the world. That is your you know, that's your customer base. You've got those thousand people. Now, how many thousand of those, how, how many of those thousand, yeah, are pro trans and, you know, like anti conservative? Yeah, do you see where I'm going with this? It, it's not a good look because most people don't actually give a fuck about this kind of thing. They really don't. But when you start trying to fire people and push a shitty PC agenda on people, there will be a backlash. And I can assure you there's a lot more non-trans gamers than there are trans gamers. You're instantly, instantly alienating 50% of your, your, your customers. And what's going to happen is trans people aren't just going to suddenly become gamers and buy your games. Yeah, this is a bad look. And yeah, Flash has done a video about this. Uh, CEO Limited Run Games, they hate you. Refusing to cancel pre-orders from Backlash. Way to run your company into the ground, you spiky-haired ginger twat. I hope they go bust. They don't deserve... They don't deserve to have customers. Here's the CEO of Limited Run Games who fired an employee because she followed Gina Carano, Blair White and Libs of TikTok, Douglas Bogart, he slash him. What the fuck is that? You don't need, I'm just going to say, you don't need pronouns in your bio, right? I have eyes. I can tell if you're a fucking dude or a chick. Says people should only be allowed to post their personal opinions if you're a woke liberal. 
Yeah, so you're allowed to post your opinions and say what you want as long as it lines up with fucking Dougie Bogart's fucking idea of what's right and what's wrong. Fuck that guy. And seriously, don't buy anything from Limited Run Games. They're pieces of shit. They don't deserve your custom. You can get your other stuff elsewhere for the same price and probably better customer service. Well, this has been Sleepy P. This is the Sleepy Shell Core. Thanks for watching. I hope you're all caught up now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you next time. Until next time, peace out.